I'm Gavin Cymru's collection of Blaschka glass models come from two sources. The first source is from the original Cardiff Museum, who ordered their batch of models to, from the Blaschkas in the 1890s. This model is one of those models. This is a marine worm, a polychaete worm. Later on, in the 1920s, the museum was donated a second batch of models, and these came from what is now the Science Museum in London. On our records, we subsequently have about 200 models. Unfortunately, only about 140 of those are now surviving today. The sea anemones are what set the Blaschkas off on their making of these marine animals. This model itself is also interesting. It's amongst the last of the animal models actually made by the Blaschkas. The other thing the Blaschkas made a lot of were squid and octopi. And these were based on plates by a French naturalist called Varani. This is Argonauta, the paper nautilus. Uh, it's one of our most popular models because it is quite exquisite. This is the female and in those paddles you'd normally carry a shell which in which the egg sac would also go at some point. What was novel about the Blaschka is they're always looking for techniques or ideas to make these models look as realistic as possible. And of course when you're working with gastropods and other shelled animals, why not use the shell? Increasingly in later life when they're doing more and more of their own observations and collecting and becoming research scientists in a way in their own right, they started to do these dissections. Here we see in glass a dissection of a cuttlefish. Rather impressive. It's another one of the original 1890 accessions. So this dates back to the models bought by the Cardiff Museum. In really nice condition. Um, survived really well, uh, especially considering it's probably been more or less on continuous display for most of its life. One thing the Blaschkas had a particular passion for making was the sea slugs. These marine slugs are quite fabulous. They come out in all sorts of shapes, colours, textures, often very vibrant and actually very difficult to capture in glass because the vibrancy of the colours in glass do seem to fade over time. This is a particularly beautiful one. You see it still has a lot of its blue coloration. And this is one of the free swimming forms, the glaucous ones, which are found throughout the world's oceans. The lovely thing about the work of the Blaschkas is they didn't just focus on the bigger animals, they actually focused on the smaller animals and also developmental stages as well. So what you're looking at here is actually one of the developmental stages of a sponge as the cells divide and the animal itself forms. A lot of the models they tried to make are these soft-bodied animals and this is some sort of colonial animal. You can see there all the little feeding tentacles and the feeding polyps each one individually handmade in glass with little bits of spots of colour here and there to give it that texture and shape. 